I'd like to begin by wishing you all a very happy and holy Easter, an Easter which is markedly different to last year. Last year our churches were closed and in many ways we were not able to celebrate this festive season religiously or socially because we were not allowed to go to other people's houses. We weren't allowed to do the things we normally do in the Easter holidays. But this year we can again, and for this I give great thanks to God and join with you in the happy feeling that we all have. But I want to draw your attention to a very simple thing, and that is that even though things are getting back to normal, it is quite different to what it was two years ago because we are now entering Easter in a different way because we experienced no Easter last year, effectively. And the difference is what we took for granted every year as Easter came and went, we now realize are things that we should not take for granted and should be very grateful for. What things do I mean? First of all, our relationship with other people. Last Easter, we weren't able to spend time with each other. We had no parties. And now I think we will meet people as we did in the past with, with great appreciation and with a lot of thanksgiving that we do have people. In fact, we don't take people for granted. We don't take the things we had for granted because we went through a period when things were not available for us. And this Easter, while it is the same, is not the same because we are different. And I would like to draw your attention to that. Be thankful. Be grateful for what you have. Turn to those around you with great love and appreciation. And as for some of you, you will now move back to the churches to celebrate Easter. Recognize how wonderful it is to have the freedom to practice your religion, whatever it is. How wonderful it is to be able to join with others, to praise and give thanks to God. Recognize that we are, as in this period of Easter, risen people. And as risen people, we are people of love. And let us not take any of this for granted, but this year, enjoy it from the depth of our souls, with thanksgiving, with enthusiasm, let us share the gift of life that we have with others. I wish you again a very happy and holy Easter.